I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. What is going on guys? Shibby2142 here with How You See Damage, Episode 9. Pwned Beach says, hey Shibs, degreaser, man melt, or extinguisher, how you see damage? Let's get started. This game is Team Fortress 2. It is free on the PC. How this show works is you post a comment pertaining to some loadout within the game, and I'll try it out and show you how to see damage with it. One request that I want to give you guys right now, right away, is that post more creative loadouts. A lot of loads have been actually pretty good, and I just kind of skip them because that's something I'd actually use within the game. It would be pretty normal. So not just Oh, use Rocket Jumper or Sticky Jumper, make them more creative, but still maybe tough to use. And a random Goomba Stomp is already awesome. So the primary weapon here, we're using the Degreaser, which is a community-made primary weapon for the Pyro. The advantage is it's a 65% faster weapon switch, so you can cycle through weapons faster. However, the negative con is that there's a 25% burn damage penalty. So when you light someone on fire, it only does three damage, so that's kind of unfortunate if you're more of a hit and run pyro where you like lighting people on fire and then just letting them after burn to death. So you saw some air blast there that's using right click on my primary weapon and Mr. Scout going for high fives out in the middle of the open. Yeah, you're probably just gonna get headshotted, which that's what happened. In the gameplay a little bit ago, you saw me use that air blast, which is actually a compression blast ability which can reflect projectiles, extinguish burning teammates, which I need to work on, but it can do that. And also it can separate a medic from its target. So you saw that combo went uber, and then I tried to get them off each other by using that air blast because the med chain would be broken. Oh son, and also in the gameplay you just saw was using the man melter to extinguish teammates. So I have ability to either air blast or use the man melter with the right click. So the man melter, this indivisible particle smasher is actually a pretty useful little gadget. However, in certain cases like this one, the shotgun would have been nice there because the soldier would have taken a ton of damage. But it's very spammable, it's nice for annoying your enemies by lighting them on fire, so good against snipers. And it also is very nice when you're using the Phlogistonator, which is the new Pyro Flamethrower, building your oomph meter and then restoring health and getting those critical hits. So yeah, a lot going on there. So if you guys want me to use some of the Christmas weapons, give me some interesting loadouts involving those, but don't make them too awesome, because once again, that's what kind of people are getting annoyed about, like ships. Oh, I'd use this loadout, no problem. And I did start this series using more loadouts that kind of sucked. Like using the eviction notice and the buffalo steak. Yeah, that was just pretty bad. And I was doing work on that kill feed. So that's one thing as Pyro that you shouldn't be too afraid of is assisting your teammates. Light people on fire and let them do damage. You're more of a hit and run class. Unless you're approaching from behind or ambushing, you really can't take too many people on head on unless you're very good and gifted at the air blast, which I'm still working on. When you can reflect every soldier rocket, you can pretty much just destroy everyone. Because one thing, when I'm playing a soldier, that is just very annoying. And you see what I just did there is using the melee weapon that was suggested by Pwn Beach is the extinguisher. Basically, what that weapon is all about is lighting someone on fire, busting out your extinguisher and hitting with it, and you get a 195 critical hit. So if you want to kill a heavy, obviously that'll take two hits. But pretty much everyone else, it'll be one hit because they will burn out if it's soldier like 200 health. And also be wary of medic overheal because then you have to kind of adjust for that. Okay, well, we've basically covered the weapons in this loadout. So let's switch gears here, digress for a second. Talk about question of the video to you, the viewer. The worst class in Team Fortress 2. I'm not saying, oh, Shibs, well, certainly a soldier when using the rocket jumper, man treads, and market gardener. Okay, well, that's pretty bad. But what is just the worst class in general? What do you think? I'm saying, is it Pyro? Is it Heavy? Is it Spy? Is it Sniper? Let me know. Post a comment and maybe explain why if you don't want to post a loadout. One thing that I have been considering is taking this series to Battlefield as well. Obviously not the same name because how you see damage in Battlefield isn't really possible because the numbers don't really pop up when you shoot someone. Yeah, I mean that would be kind of cool like uh, in Borderlands, but it's just not how it works within that game. So maybe give me a title for that. And that'd be fun. People would say, hey, should we use the L96 sniper with so-and-so attachments? Would we do just a primary weapon or also secondaries? I don't know if we'd get that specific and also with the attachments. I, I just don't know. Would you guys like to see that? Because Team Fortress 2 is fun, but only so many people play TF2. 
at least, you know, just PC. So it's kind of very specific, where at least Battlefield would have the console players as well. It's also sort of unfortunate that Team Fortress 2 and Battlefield don't have a free-for-all mode like Call of Duty does, something to the effect that Wicked Shrapnel has in his series, because people can't say, oh Shibs, use this gun and try to win a free-for-all, and whoever has the best gameplay will just use that or I'll use my own. Not really how it works. Maybe like a TDM in Battlefield, because that would be quick and easy. You can't really show a whole rush round or a conquest round. I just can't talk about guns for 30 minutes. I just I wouldn't work and you guys wouldn't be entertained. Am I saying I want to stop TF2 or the series? Nope, I'm just saying I would like to expand to other games as well. That'd be kind of fun. So please check out my channel. Links in the video description if you'd like. And hopefully I will see you next time.